morning everyone so it's uh, Sunday morning and uh, in Wales we're in a lockdown now uh, John my friend John does the hydroelectric um, turbines and has helped me out a lot with my system he was planning on visiting but it's probably unlikely he's gonna visit now and I was waiting for him to take the turbine apart and do a couple of modifications to get a bit more power um, but yeah like I say he's not gonna be visiting now so I think I'm going to do them today quickly. Uh, I need to move the standpipe because uh, moving it closer has actually made it worse. I keep getting airlocks in it. Um, what else? Yeah, want to move the standpipe and uh, take off the spear valve nozzle and move it up a little bit to get better jet alignment. And was going to change it for a more efficient one that John has for me. But I say because it's locked down, I'm not sure that's going to happen now. Uh, but yeah, uh, in the workshop, cool things happening, there's the main doors, uh, I'm not going to show you too much of it, but doing two of those, hopefully trying to get them done for uh, Friday, but it's going to be a push. But yeah, today, Sunday, let's do some hydro mods. Right, get some tools together, and we'll get to it. Come on girl, let's go and work on the hydro. Come on, I need your help. Yeah, Off to work. Oh, that one came up. The water level is here, so that's good. Got the one. Oh, that was an experiment that ended up costing me a lot of time and energy. Don't put your standpipe too close to the end. So it seems there's something uh, not quite right with the hydro. I thought it was an airlock, which is why I moved that standpipe. Uh, but yeah, we're down on power. Should be running at about 480 watts running at about 430. I'm wondering if uh, there's something in the pipe or something so I'm just gonna blast the pipe out and then I'm gonna take the turbine lift it up and check the actual turbine runner itself and everything as well. Just before the winter's fully sets in and we're reliant on it we'll get these little jobs done. Do anything. But I've taken the drain off the uh, manifold and I'm gonna blast it out. Let the whole pipe drain like that. Right, well clearing out the pipe didn't do anything. So uh, I want to do that mod on the spear valve anyway. So uh, we'll go and take it apart, uh, get that spear valve off, uh, change the nozzle alignment, and in the process check to see if there's some wear on something. I've got spare spoons and things. I doubt it's that though this soon, but we'll see, we'll get it apart. Right, so I got the uh, turbine out and there's uh, nothing wrong with it. See, it's just got a bit of a uh, P2 
rocky the residue on it but the actual turbine itself is perfect there's no damaged spoons they're all tight so uh, yeah all looking fine uh, so I'm going to do that modification to that valve I'll bring you in closer to do that we'll get it back together it might just be there's still air in the system but I wanted to do this modification anyway so while I'm doing it I might as well check on everything but yeah it's great no sign of wear at all yet so I just uh, prop the turbine up with a bit of wood and I can get under it and work on it without taking all the connections off so yeah the problem is is this this spear valve um, doesn't have any adjustment on it like the other ones um, because of this uh, but today I'm gonna bring this up modify this to bring this up a bit because the jet alignment's not quite right and then we'll have to bend this up a little bit to suit or whatever so there's the uh, spear valve nozzle off all looks fine no deterioration at all so there is the uh, spear valve out that's the spear itself there Get a bit of a clean up before we put it back in right so what I want to do is elongate this hole a bit so we can slide it up a bit higher because it's too low okay. right that's uh that job done in elongated, so I'm ready to get this back together. Sun's out today, so we've got a bit of power coming in. And I've got adjustment on this nozzle now, which is what we want. And I've got adjustment on this nozzle now, which is what we want. Kind of tempted to put more adjustment on the other ones, but I think I'll leave that for now. We'll do that another time, I think. Okay, ready now to put the turgo back in. i will just get my uh, my key hole slots. So this is, instead of using a key, I've got these bolts that go through and act as a key. Allen head bolts, so I'm just going to protrude those a tiny bit so I can find that slot and slide it up. And then there's a big bolt that goes through the middle there. All right, let's get that in. Next, feel for where that slot is. There it is. Right, ready to uh, start her up. Give it some pressure. Run it for a bit, see how we get on. Yeah, there's one more little bit of pipe I can check. But yeah, I'm really confused. I mean, it's working fine. It's still going to be a problem for us. Just confused as to why we're down on the top end. Because everything's fine up until about 400 watts. And then you put the last nozzle on and it only goes up to 430, where it should be going up to close to 480. For some reason, it's, it's acting like there's a blockage because we're getting too. Like a, as soon as I go on that third, sorry, fourth nozzle, there's um, quite a lot more head loss, uh, friction loss. So it's like there's a blockage, so we might have to pick the pipe again. Or it could be in the smaller uh, tapering down bit, going to the manifold possibly. It's a pain to take apart. That is, and if it is that, I think that'll just stay like that for the winter. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. We'll investigate this other length of pipe. See how we get on with that. Right, so uh, nothing has changed so far. So I'm going to run the pig down the penstock just to rule that out. And then we're going to clean out the uh, tapered down bit as well.
So I'm going to take these uh, inserts out. I'm going to clean all this out as well this time. We've just taken the main pen stop. And in these, when I painted this, I didn't know too much about how important the, the importance of pipe friction um, was new at it. And I put these inserts in. And it doesn't really need these because of um, the pressure. My system's not high enough pressure to really need these. And all they're doing is restricting the flow by quite a bit. So while I'm investigating this and cleaning it all out, I'm going to take these out and get better, better efficiency out of it. So I've been meaning to take these out for ages. I just connect. Right, I think we're back in business. So we're up at 410 watts, 412 watts, but that's on three nozzles. So I was only getting 430 on all nozzles before, so we've still got another nozzle which is good for 110 watts. So we'll add a bit of pipe friction in there, so we should see our, uh, our full power again. So I think we fixed it, but I need to wait for some more rain to be sure but it's looking good. That's where it should, that's more closely to what it should be. But we've got another liter and a 1.2 to 1.5 liter a second nozzle to turn on yet. So we should see close to 500 watts, which is what we want. Okay. Okay, hold it down. Okay, which one is that? Okay, perfect, that's what I want. Okay, stop that one and start pressing the other one. Great, keep holding that down. Right, so uh, I monitored it last night. It's definitely still doing something funny, the hydroelectric system. I don't know what it is, but I've really checked everything other than um, just maybe it's sucking in air again. It might be this air problem I had before. Um, so what I've got, I've got radio, dots on the other end of the radio, and it'll walk up to the intake, and uh, it only the problem only comes on the very last nozzle. So I'm going to go up to the intake, take one of the covers off of the intake, and then, uh, oh sorry, the lens is a bit dirty. Yeah, take one of the covers off of the intake and watch what happens when uh, all the nozzles are put on. See if it pulls down a, you know, a bubble or something. Right, we'll find out. Right, I'm up at the intake here. I've taken one of the covers off. Dot is down at the bottom, waiting to turn on some nozzles for me. I'm going to watch what happens. Okay, my dear, I'd like you to turn on both nozzles, the big one and the small one. So valve one, valve two. Okay, can you now open the spear valve as well? That is still full. So hey everyone, it is the next day. And I'm just in the workshop working on the doors here and uh, the power went all night last night it's raining again today um, so it's a good chance to do a full power test so it's on three nozzles at the moment 
running at about 420 watts. Uh, let me just set you up so you can see that. Alright, so I'm in the uh, workshop all day today working on doors and Dot's making jams. It's going to be a high power day. So let's see if we can uh, run this with uh, all the nozzles on. Oh, just opened the app and it shut down two nozzles. Never mind, we'll just put them both back on. So I just got my app here, put valve one, valve two on. There we go. See if we can get back up to full power where we were before, between 460 and 480. If we are, then we're, we're back up and running. There we go, 480, perfect. Ah, oh, connection went. There we go, so we are back up and running. That is excellent news. I don't know exactly what we did, but we fixed it nonetheless. Great. Um, I'm surprised we're not a little bit above that to be honest considering we made a few changes but uh, we are right at the sort of limit of um, friction loss comparative to efficiency now unless I get bigger pipe uh, but yeah pleased with that it will jump around a little bit because it's not necessarily set to the correct voltage and we might see a little bit more than 480 maybe 490 when it finds the right voltage for it because as the uh, water flow goes up, the friction goes up, so the voltage will go down a little bit. But yeah, that's about what we want. We're back up to where we should be. Great. So yeah, that is going to be the end of this. A uh, nice little video. Pretty hard to have a conclusion of what the problem was. Um, but it was a good chance to take everything apart and check everything anyway. And, you know, everything looks really good. We've cleaned out the pipe. I took out those inserts that I've been meaning to take out for a while. Uh, an interesting thing to say about those inserts is that um, a lot of people have hypothesized that there is a huge amount of friction in that area of going from the 110 millimeter pipe down to the uh, 50 odd millimeter pipe. And there is friction there, of course, but there's a lot less than a lot of people have hypothesized. I've worked out the numbers and there isn't actually that much friction there uh, because of the length of it. The length is short. There is obviously friction there, but it is a short length. And that shows by me taking out those inserts, which actually were quite a lot of restriction. You know, they're a couple of millimeters thick and there was four of them in there in a short space of time. And they had ridges on them steps. And that would have equated to a lot of friction. If there was a lot of friction in that area, taking those out would have made a big difference. And it hasn't. So it shows us that that isn't a really high loss area. Um, so yeah, I thought that was interesting. Um, so, I, I, you know, I might change it one day, but it's a lot of work for a very small gain to change that. And very expensive too, because the valves and things to shut it all off get really dear after you get past those sizes. So yeah, I don't think it's worth changing, but I'm gonna probably mess around with a new manifold at some point. I've actually started getting the parts for it, um, because I think there's probably loss in the manifold just because of its shape and, and, and the turbulent nature of it. Uh, so that's a project in the future. But yeah, back up and running, 480 watts, 24 hours a day. That's enough to run this whole workshop, all the lights, make jam, run the house, everything. So yeah, pleased with that. Right, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, main doors for the workshop will be coming out. I was trying to get it out for this Friday, but probably not going to happen. Maybe next Friday or maybe a midweek video. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.